Welcome everybody, welcome back to another morning with Proverbs. Hope you're feeling blessed this morning. For those that are new to this, this is where we share a short two minute video sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that has ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing, he never asked for more money, even though he got it, he never asked for more fame, even though he got it, he never asked for more power, even though he got it. What he really desired was God's wisdom and understanding of how to truly be successful in this life and show other people how to be successful more importantly. So let's really get into this. Let's, uh, so those taking notes, we're going to be reading from chapter 17, verse 19, and it reads this. He who loves a quarrel loves sin. <laughs> he who builds a high gate invites destruction. There's a couple of things, two things, points that I really want to uh, highlight that Solomon talks about here. A person who loves quarrels loves sin. Okay, what it means by this is that I've been there where I've gone into a conversation with somebody and I haven't gone trying to understand where that person's coming from. I haven't gone into that conversation trying to understand that person's point of view or trying to come, come to a place of win-win. I've gone in, in there with a quarrelsome um, spirit where I just want to tell you that I'm right. I just want to tell you that you're wrong. I just want to tell you that you need to hear me and I don't want to hear you. That's a quarrelsome attitude and the sin that's associated with that is pride. The sin that's associated with that is arrogance. Yo, I watched a program yesterday with my grandma. We had our folks over and they were watching Come Dine With Me. And there was a guy on there and all he wanted to do was quarrel. He had no intention of listening to anyone. He just wanted to quarrel. Do you know what? You cannot stand being around a person like that. I know people don't want to be around me if I've got like that. I don't want to be around me when I'm like that because he's just arrogant. I don't like that. Second point Solomon talks about, okay, if you're a person that never wants to listen to anybody, what you start to do is build a high wall around your city, okay? Nobody can talk into my life, which is good, but let me give you an analogy of a city with a high wall, okay, that never lets anybody in. You can't let anything out, and sooner or later, you begin to run out of resources, okay? So what happens when the water's low, when the food's low, okay? Sooner or later, destruction comes your way because of pride, because of arrogance, Okay, and that's a sin that tends to be associated with people who are quarrelsome. Okay, so don't destroy yourself with these high walls where I don't want to hear nothing. I'm going to tell you everything because you're just destroying yourself. Okay, okay, if you're going to have a conversation, make sure it's a win win that you really want to understand where that person's coming from as well as getting your points across. So we hope that you're feeling blessed this morning. As we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Go out there and be blessed, but more importantly, go out there and be a blessing. God bless you. Bye-bye.